kind of went on a rampage. Oops. But I bought a lot of stuff. And I thought I should show you guys. So let's just jump right in because I got a lot to show you. Okay. First we're going to start out with the Mac. It looks like a small bag, but I promise there's lots in here. Okay. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. So the first thing I got was Fix Plus. I don't know why I haven't tried this yet, but it's crazy to me. So I finally got it and I've already used it because I love it already. Anyways, on to the next thing. I got Gimme Sun, which I've heard so much about. I don't even know if you can see that, but I love it so far. I love it. Of course, I've used it already. And, okay. Next thing I picked up was Soft and Gentle by MAC. I've heard so much about this, and I don't know why I have never bought it. I don't know. But I finally did. Next, I picked up Warm Soul. This is a beautiful blush. And I don't know where have I been, because so many people talk about this, and like... It is seriously gorgeous and like I'm in love already and I haven't even used it yet. What I picked up was, let's see, I got Mobless and Always Sunny. They're Pro Longwear eyeshadows and I don't know if I can show you but they're like a pretty much what you would expect. This is Always Sunny. It almost looks like uninterrupted, but kind of not. And then Mauveless is so gorgeous. It's like this mauve color. Like, it is so pretty. I've heard anybody talk about these, so I'm really excited to try them. And I don't know why I keep looking over there. Sorry, I'm looking at you. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was, oh, this is also a blush. It is a sheer tone blush, though, so... It is Gingerly. I've actually heard a lot about this, but it looks pretty. It's like a glare. What I got was MAC Melba, and I have been wanting this blush for so long, and I don't know why I waited so long to get it, but it's just like the classic MAC blush. I feel like everybody needs to have this blush. It goes with everything. It's beautiful. I don't know why I haven't had it this long, so I picked up that. I don't know if you guys can see, but I also picked up some lip liners that I have already used, of course. I couldn't wait. I'm sorry, guys, but I got Soar, which is just like a Duchess. My dog is... No! Hey! Stop it! My dog is moving the freaking camera and she's going to knock it over. Okay, anyways, I got Soar, I got Boldly Bear, and Oak. I already have Whirl, and like, I feel like they're all such similar colors, but to me they're not. They're different. Okay, the last two things I got from MAC were, I don't even know why I got these. It is Viva Glam Rihanna, and it's like this, like I'm never going to wear this. Why did I buy this? Okay, but it's like, I mean, it's kind of pretty. I just don't really like shimmery glosses. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. But it's like a shimmery, like, red color. It's kind of pretty. But who knows if I'll actually use that. Anyways, next I got... Let's see. What is this called? Viva Glam V. And I don't even think I've heard anybody talk about this ever. But it's like... I don't... I don't know. It's it's a luster, so it's not going to be like very pigmented. But I feel like it's kind of a pretty color. It has a little shimmer in it, but I don't think it will show up like glitter because I don't like glitter. But mm, I guess we'll try it. Who knows? Just buy stuff because I impulse buy and then it gets me in trouble. But I love makeup, so you know, it makes me happy. Okay, so that's it for MAC. So, why I was in the MAC, or why I was in Macy's getting the MAC stuff, I 
just had to stop by Bobby Brown and I got this is so unnecessary but I got both of the new Bobby Brown like shimmer highlights they're like limited edition for the holidays this one is pink glow and then I also got bronze glow and I am like so excited to use these because they are gorgeous like I will use them in a tutorial but if you want them you need to go get them now because seriously they're gonna be on it's limited edition and like I had to call like so many different places just to make sure they had it because I was like I need this in my life so I finally got that and then I also got an eyeshadow I got camel I mean I don't even know you can't see that wait I may have it I think I used it today hold on oh it's literally right in front of me okay so I got camel and it's like it's almost like uninterrupted by Mac but it's so pretty oh my gosh it's like the best warm like mustardy color and like I know a lot of people don't like this but it literally looks so pretty on the eyes like just try it I promise it looks so gorgeous on everybody and I also got Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in golden light of course went I tried to stay away I'm sorry this hair is just like out of control Okay, I tried to stay away. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I can't spend any more money. This has to be it. But, of course, I went to Sephora. How can you go to the mall and not go to Sephora? I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's just me, but I have a problem. Okay, but the first thing I got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I want to do like in first impressions with this because I've heard so much good things about it, but I just like... I don't know. Okay, so I got the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. It's a supercharged foundation. It's supposed to, uh, it's a buoyancy gel, awakens your skin to translucency and clarity. So, I don't know. I'm really excited to try this. Let me know if you guys want to see like a first impression in this bottle. It is so pretty. Like, I mean, I think that's the one thing that just, like, draw me in. Like, look how gorgeous that is. How can you not want to buy that because it's so pretty? I couldn't help it. But, yeah, I'm really excited to try that. Okay, other thing I got, which I know I'm so late on this, but I just wasn't sure. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but I finally bit the bullet and just bought it because it's so expensive. Oh, my gosh. But I got the NARS sheer glow foundation and I'm sure you've heard all about this but I got Punjab Poon, Punjab I'm not even gonna try Duchess my dog is moving the camera I'm sorry okay so I got this I don't know if it's gonna be a little light for me but I'm not sure I'm really excited to try it because I've heard a lot of good things about it but then like some people say that they hate it so I don't know let me know if you guys have tried it and if you like it like my skin is somewhat dry so I don't know let me know what you guys think but I definitely am excited to try those two and then I also got this Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick I've heard like a lot of good things about these but I've never heard anything about this particular one. It's Baho 5. I don't know. I'll leave it in the description bar because I have no idea how to pronounce that. But it is like the most gorgeous color ever. And I don't know why I haven't heard anybody talk about this. Like, look at this color. Are you serious? Like, I want to put it on right now. I've been waiting because I wanted to film this video so that you guys, I could be excited. Because it's just like opening it all up again and you don't like you forget what you get and now I remember that I have this and I really want to put it on like right now but I don't know I just think it's like so gorgeous and apparently they like last get out of there I'm gonna kill this dog 
Duchess! Okay. Anyways. Okay. So yeah, this. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to try it. Have you guys tried it? Because I want to know if it's worth it. Because I'm not sure how much it was, but I don't think it was that expensive. I can't find my receipt, but I don't think it was that bad. And then, oh my gosh. So I haven't heard anybody talk about these, but they're the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmo. You can actually use it for your lips, eyes, and body, but... I got this one to use on my lips. It's called Black Dahlia. And like, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. The color of it. I haven't used it yet, but like, I feel like it is the perfect, like, fall color. Like, can you guys see that? It is just like so pretty and like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like, look at that. Oh my god, I can wear this with the Kat Von D. Oh, stop. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> but I literally haven't tried any of their, like, lip liners, so I'm excited to try it. I didn't even, like, I guess I'm lost because I didn't even realize that they had them. But, okay, I also got this Laura Mercier Smooth Focus Press Setting Powder Shine Control. Because, like... I'm dry, but I get shiny, like, right here, of course, like, most people do, but I have heard a lot of good stuff about this setting powder, and I really wanted to try it out. It's, like, it's obviously just, like, a white powder, but I'm kind of excited to try it. I'll let you guys know, or you let me know, because if you tried it, tell me how you liked it, but I'm really excited to try that, and... What is this? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I got this. See? This is what happens. I got another Becca blush, and it is in Damselfly. Or, yeah, Damselfly. Isn't that how you pronounce it? Okay, I hope so, because I'm an idiot. But, oh my gosh, it just looks like such a pretty color. I'm in love. And, like, of course, they always get me as I'm, like, walking to check out. And they have all that stuff there. And, like, of course, they want you to buy it. So, I fell for it again. I got this Peter Thomas Roth. And it's, like, the all three of their um, masks, I guess. It's, like, this is what it looks like. They're, like, little mini ones. But it comes with the... Cucumber Gel Mask Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator. Um, I also got the Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. And then I got the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And I've used the Pumpkin Enzyme one. I'm not going to lie. But I really like it so far. I don't know. Like, I might end up getting the big ones. But, like, I mean, these really... It's really a good size for... I think this was like maybe $20 at the most, but like, I mean, you get three and like, they're not that small, at least they're not like foils, but I mean, you could use these a few times. Went to my seat, my CCO, like near my house, and I have been dying to try this foundation for a long time, and like, I just didn't want to pay full price, because I think it's like $42 normally or something, but it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I don't know where I've been, but I haven't tried this yet. And I got it, and I already used it, and I'm obsessed with it. Because it literally does not move. Oh my gosh. And, like, I have sometimes I get, like, acne. Ugh, I just hate that word. But I get spots that like to come and hang out over in this area at that time of the month. So this literally, like, covers it and like, you look flawless. Like, it is amazing. I'm obsessed already. And then I ended up getting, like, I don't even think I've heard anybody talk about this, but I got the Double Matte Oil Control Pressed Powder. And it's, like, I guess it goes hand in hand together. It's like this. But I, I've used this already. I'm not going to lie. But I love this. I don't know. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, too much and maybe, like, make my face look, like, cakey, you know? But it literally is amazing. And, like, for that, like, oil that I get, like, right here during the day, I'll just, like, take this and, like, 
all over the face just like tap it not too much because like then I'll start looking cakey but I just use a big fluffy brush and just like go on my face and it literally is amazing like I carry it in my purse all the time and I got this awesome I got this blush I've never tried an Estee Lauder blush before but it's a pure color blush and it is audacious plum and it's a satin I don't know but it's like it's not I wouldn't say it's very plummy I mean it's more of like just like a mauve pink color I don't know but it's like really gorgeous as you can tell I've used it but it's so pretty like it's such a like natural blush that could go with any look at all and it's like has a little bit of a sheen to it so it's like it makes you look like you're like glowing like oh my gosh I love it already what am I doing just add more to the collection I'm obsessed just add more why don't we just go buy more let's go broke you know what I'd rather go broke on makeup than anything else because it makes me happy so I'm gonna buy it and I don't care because it makes me happy <laughs> right it's all about us being happy so duh and then I got the double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer I don't even think I've heard anybody talk about this and I watch a lot of YouTube <laughs> But I got this at my CCO for $17. Like, oh my gosh, this place is amazing. But I used it, and I'm actually, like, in love with it. It's, like, the most... It's, like, amazing. Like, to cover up blemishes and stuff, it works so good. I've used it under the eyes, like, maybe once or twice. I'm not sure about it yet. I think I'm going to try to use it a few more times just to see, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. I like it so far. Let me know if you guys have tried this or like, have you tried it under the eyes? Does it cake up for you? Does it crease? Like, cause I have like fine lines and like the only concealer that I find, it creases, but I have like a few that don't. And they're like mainly drugstore, which is really weird because it's like, wouldn't you think that the high-end ones would not crease over the drugstore? But I totally love my drugstore concealers and they work better than anything. And as long as I set it, it usually doesn't crease. Okay, I'm going off on a rant right now. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, so that was it for my haul. I'll list everything in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!